Hello, everybody. I am Matt Allen, formerly known as Ice Cream Man in a past life. Which, oh, shit. Knocking over stuff, too, apparently. I guess I like a lot of cord here. Um, so tonight I want to talk about the future of live streaming music to some extent, but also concerts and festivals. And so this goes back a long way for me, where I started Ice Cream Man back in, like, 2004, and I spent about seven years traveling the country backstage at music festivals, giving away ice cream. Long story there. But I followed, I, I, I followed the, the world of, um, of all the streaming media at the festivals as well as the ones that I couldn't see. So starting back in 2000, about 2005, there was AT&T Blue Room. And this was the only way to watch live concerts. There was one fab channel, which was out of, um, I want to say Amsterdam or something, but they couldn't afford to continue to pay the rights. So you're relying on one thing, which is, which is, uh, which is Blue Room, which was great, because by 2006, they had most of the major festivals. But there was all this stuff missing, and nobody knew what it was, and everyone's waiting and waiting. And it took until Coachella of 2011 for it to really hit. I don't know if anyone saw it, but by the time Kanye hit the stage on the last night, it was mind-blowing. I was sitting there in front of my computer. I was dancing. I, was, I think I even cried. Crazy stuff. But basically, it's not... That kind of overtook everything that uh, because of the social, because of all these reasons. And then it wasn't just YouTube. It wasn't just that. From there, you have other sites like this is NPR. Um, they're not only doing the video, but, uh, or not doing the video, they're doing just the audio. So this is Sasquatch just north of here. And so it's not just this crazy video stuff that's going on that is the reason why all of this stuff is happening. There's all of these, it, it, so there's the live streaming part and then there's the archiving. And then you go back and forth like, well, okay, that's great. Four million people viewed that Coachella broadcast, but what about these archives? I mean, you've got six million for Florence and the Machine. Of, of Monsters and Men are like three million and probably most of you guys haven't heard of them. I don't know. I don't think they're that big, but three million views is. Well, so now you're moving on. So you have some of this audio, you have YouTube doing their big stuff. But there's new players in the market. Live set, Bahamas are awesome. I highly recommend you check them out. This live set particular from South by Southwest rules. Um, so you got small players, but then you also have these big players. Uh, iTunes, Apple, why not throw your own festival for a month in London, stream it on all these awesome devices, and then market your products at the same time. Sell concert tickets. You probably pay for the whole damn thing anyways. You might as well do it for free. So once you start bringing in all of these other most people are going to watch on their computer, but you have the phones and the tablet. You're going to need some better sound. Zuka here in town has a really good idea of how to, how to do that on iPad. I recommend you check them out. Audio Engine for speakers is what I use through my computers. Um, so that way you're, you're listening to, uh, like Flack, you're listening to something better, you know, at least, or, or maybe just louder, depending on your, your connection. You can see stuff in theaters. Like, this isn't live particularly. This is a Grateful Dead show, but fa uh, Fathom Concerts now, do, or Fathom Events now will do concerts. Uh, this was a great memory uh, for me. A sad one, too. LCD Sound System. They, they did their last show, and it was at Radio City or Madison Square Garden, but then they broadcast it, and we had a huge dance party at this place called Smashbox in LA, and it was awesome. And everyone danced, and it, it kind of felt like you were there. Um, so when you talk about live stream, most of it's free. Uh, everybody likes to use the Radiohead analogy. They gave it away for free and pay what you want, and it worked. Well, no, it only works for Radiohead, really. Fish is the same thing. When you're talking live stream, no one's going to pay 40 bucks to see you to see you know see the whole you know to to see three days of music, but Fish can do it. Um, so now you're getting into the business side of things. Uh, YouTube actually, oh gosh, man, I could talk about this for a while. But basically, they changed the model. So now where YouTube started buying the rights to show this stuff, and then they would find the advertisers. So that's how you're seeing all of this stuff come around. And you need all those places to be social and everything else. But then you have smaller companies like Pickathon happening right out here, friggin' awesome. They're live stream, 160 person crew, almost all volunteer. Great quality, all through, all through uh, livestream.com. That's a whole other story there, too. Um, but now you have these new technologies. Um, this one, SwitchCam, they take multiple uh, YouTube videos, they stitch them all together, and you can watch them and click on each one, kind of like picking a different channel. One of the other new things coming is uh, helicopters, not big ones like this one, but they have the small helicopters with a camera, and you can put a, you know, a DSLR on that, and they did it at, at Bonnaroo two years ago. My friend did it, and they also film music videos. And you check this stuff out, and you avoid a lot of this, like, you know, all these big cranes that fall on people and shit like that, which sucks. And now you have 360 videos that happened to South by Southwest. Oh, it sucked. Um, and now you have 360, so now you can watch uh, you, can, you can choose where you want to see. Uh, Jane's Addiction just did it, an after show at Lollapalooza, but really, the future 
It's Tupac. Everyone wants holograms, but actually this company went out of business, so you know you can't really see that either. But basically, there's going to be more and more, more and more live streaming of concerts, of music festivals. They're going to rule. The quality's getting better. The you know, uh, if anybody wants to talk about this more or or the technical side of it, which I had to completely overlook, hit me up at uh, at matt at icecommand.com or icecommand on Twitter. Thanks. <laughs>